Hi guys, Darky Caps Gaming here, and welcome to another video in Terraria. Now today, I think I might go and expand my house. Yeah, it's night, so what? Hello, bunny. Sorry, you don't have a bug net because you can use bug nets to like catch um, bunnies and other and other critters like that. You can catch bunnies and squirrels and scorpions, not zombies unfortunately, but, and you, you can catch like birds and different types of butterflies and all those kinds of stuff. And, oh, I'm seriously getting hurt by this zombie. It's just because I'm used to playing with my other character. Never mind. You know what, never mind. Oh, that was a squirrel. This map's getting in my way a bit. I really should have gone full screen for this, but I didn't. It's my own fault. Anyway, did I play the chest or something, or do I have all of the resources that I can gather from the mine on me? Nah, that doesn't look like very much, but it's, it's actually not very much at all. Anyway, here I've got this furnace. So I think, let's see what I can make. I need to make an anvil. So. How, do I, how much lead do I need for a lead anvil? I've got 40 lead, that's not me enough. Oops, I made some fences. Okay, enough of this, I just want a lead anvil. Oh, I need lead bars. Oh, right. There we go, there's my lead anvil. And I'm only making one. I kind of like iron anvil so a bit more, but... There's one that's still good. Hmm, should I make a lead broadsword? Or should I go one step higher and try and get silver? I think I'll aim to high silver. Get out of my face, bird. I don't care that one day I might be able to catch you and keep you in a terrarium. Oh, well, you can keep, um, goldfish in bottles. Sorry, goldfish in bowls and um thingy. What's his name? Um, um butterflies in bottles jars. So let's go down here. Hopefully not dying the battle. And let's go and gather some silver. Now. The reason I start my when I start my some of my videos it's just like so sudden like hello there guys and well kind of not like normal or well like not the same as my Minecraft videos it's because I have to like start the online countdown thing and I'm stuck down here now I'll guard my lead and guarding my lead where's that giant worm gone I refuse to believe that he's gone. There he is. He's seriously hurting me as well. I've only got 26 health left. I'm taking like 4 damage off. I'm taking much more than 4 damage off me. Which place is coming from? Look out for me in time. Come on. Did I take him out? I think I took him out. There we go. That's all good. I just know he's going to come and attack me now when I'm not expecting it. Anyway, I found a load of silver around here. I think I'll go and gather all of this up. I'm actually quite lucky. It's finding what I want straight away. But this might not be enough. We should still go searching for more. I'm also going to gather up all of this lead. It kind of looks a bit like tin, which is kind of putting me off it a bit because, well, tin and copper, as you know, aren't very important. Basically, your main, your first tools are made out of them, and that's pretty much what they're only used. After that, they're completely useless. Anyway, I'll make a few torches because I guess we run out of them, and I'll just place it here. And then this actually looks kind of quite shiny now, and I can see it in the light. It looks kind of like dark stone with diamonds or something. Dark green. Hmm. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get going back up here. And hopefully, I'll find some more silver. Hmm. Actually, should I just, like, 
pile up. It's a bit harder to pile up onto areas in Minecraft. If you can't just like look down and oh I can place blocks in this background. Forgot about that. It doesn't seem to be much down here, but I can start digging down over here. There's a bit more dead. And I can't place torches on half slabs. Well not really half slabs, but it's well that can be nice and half slab things I guess. Anyway, if I just dig straight down with a few um just bends and curves. Just stop me from dying of fall damage next time I go down. I guess I could like make the path end up in water, but it's a lot easier just to do this than to dig all the way through this water. Actually, you could make a I guess I could make a drop map onto area. You can see if there's like an inter area adventure map or anything like that. That would be pretty cool. Obviously dropping onto area would be a bit easier, but a bit easier means less frustrating. And I don't really like getting frustrated. Hmm, there we go, let's get this last bit of silver over here. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna find much more. So you get well, fifteen divided by no, I need more than that. Let's see how much I can find. Oh, there's a whole oh, cave system over there. I wouldn't have found that if I didn't. Actually, I probably would have ended up in this anyway. I oh, know, it doesn't seem like it's that big. And there look, there's a snail. Be careful not to kill it. Because you can also catch them in bug nets, except they're quite there. You can only find them up underground, but I don't spend much time underground. Well, I mean, once you've got all the stuff, loads of stuff from the ground. Not much else you really need. And I'd be careful if they fail. Oh look, that's some, that's some crimson ore. But it's not called crimson ore, obviously. Hmm. If I can break this sand block just now. Yeah, I can kill I can suffocate that guy. Yeah, I can suffocate this slime. That's like the most pathetic way to kill the mob anyway. Oops. Uh, okay, looks like I won't be getting that snail as a pet then. Suffocating it's like the most easy way of killing a mob, that's so it's unbelievable. <laughs> I like throwing a bucket of water at a fire monster. Just pathetic. Of course if your life was in danger you'd do it. What I mean, if you were like having a proper duel with someone, you wouldn't just like suffocate them. This wouldn't be right. And I want to dig over the circums and all, but there's no point because I can't mine it with this pickaxe. I believe crimson container still needs a uh, gold or platinum pack. Yeah, mine would. Anyway, let's go up here. If I can, probably. That. I need to jump so I could get. So they just pile up. Pile up. Wait. And there we go. Hmm. I could spend the whole episode underground, but I don't really need to. I just hope I've got my, like, Internet Explorer sound on. I know I probably have. Since I watch like YouTube videos all the time, just it's like it sounds from Internet Explorer. I mean, not Internet Explorer, sorry, Google Chrome. Who uses Internet Explorer? Well, probably a lot of people, but you know. Anyway, look, there's a the goldfish. You can catch them with a bug net, and then you can have your own pet goldfish. Can I get up there? I just leave a like, mess everywhere I go. Can I, yeah, I can get up there now, and then let's climb up here, climb up here, and then I can hopefully make myself a silver sword. Now, this is the sword that I... 
I had a silver sword on um, the pocket edition before I got my um, before I kill I used it to kill the Ark of Fulu. Well, personally, I'd like one of those bone swords that you can get from skeletons. They do loads of damage, and they're quite big. Although this platinum broadsword should be worth it, hopefully. No, no, there's that. It's up there, isn't it? I'm gonna have to... Oh wait, I can place stuff on this background, can't I? Yeah, that's good. I've gotten used to the fact that it's not being... I've gotten used to not being able to um, place stuff on background. Anyway, let's go into my lead anvil. And... Oh wait, no, I need to go to my furnace. I'm pretty sure I'm at the furnace. Well... And let's go and see if I can anywhere. Anywhere. There we go. Tin bars. Lead bars. And then where's silver bars? Don't want to make any of those swords. Where's silver bars? There we go. Let's make a load of these. And I've only got eight, actually. That's enough to make a silver... Actually, no, I can make a silver broadsword, can't I? Well, there we go. Now, there's a cooking pot there. Can I make one of them? I'll take up quite a few of my lead bars. Let's not do that. Look at a small silver broadsword. Okay, I know it says small. But that's just taking... Look at this thing! Yeah, guys, let, let's just look at my superior color short sword. And then look at... Actually, this thing is a bit bigger. Yeah, that kind of thing works. But, still. This one's a whole lot better. I can't wait until I defeat the goblin army, so then I can get a better one. Although I doubt that I'm going to be able to defeat the art goblin army with this. Hey, you, stay back. Yeah, yeah. This is the most, like, pathetic thing ever. <laughs> and then again, it's better than my, um, old copper sword. Oh, God. Well, my superior copper short sword. Which sounds a lot better than my small silver broadsword. But anyway, let's see how long I've got left now. Um, only in one minute. Have I seriously spent 14 minutes? Or just talking and getting this, this tiny bit. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to end the video in a minute. Well, that's quite sad. But before I do that, I want to try and expand my house a bit. Because I haven't really had the time to do that, and I said I would do it at the start of this video. So let's just go and build this wall up a bit. I'm just gonna do another floor. Because I don't really have... If I did it's like separate houses, then it would be a bit annoying when there's a blood moon. Because in a blood moon, it's basically when the moon turns red and zombies can open doors. Yeah. So, not good for your NPCs, basically. Unless you hate your NPCs. In which case, why do you play Terraria? Anyway, I'll just finish off the roof. I need to end the video about here. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I ran out just in okay. And there we go. There's my timer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please leave a like or comment. And if you like my videos and want to see more, then please subscribe to me. And also... If you want to see, if you like my Minecraft videos, then you can what, then you can follow me on Twitch, and then you'll get like an email or something when I'm live streaming. And if you check your email regularly, unlike me, then you'll know that, then you'll be able to see whenever I'm going to go live. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you do enjoy my videos and want to see more, then please leave a comment saying you enjoy them or leave a like. If you like all my videos, I'm and please subscribe and that's the end of this video i hope you enjoyed and goodbye